Doctor, as always, thank you. The CDC is now encouraging every adult in America to get a booster. Medically, why does it make sense to get a booster before we know how well these vaccines work against this new variant? The idea, Shep, is really to buy ourselves time. If Omicron does uh, turn out to be an immune evading variant, so in other words, uh, vaccines are not as protective against Omicron as uh, they were against prior variants. If that turns out to be true, uh, giving a booster is a way to override that relative immune evasion. It's a strategy that we saw would have worked um, with the beta variant, an earlier variant that was also immune evading. Fortunately, that one did not become widespread. But it's really a way of protecting people, buying ourselves time until companies like Pfizer and Moderna are able to develop second generation Omicron specific vaccines. You know, there are treatments beyond vaccines, including monoclonal antibody treatments, and, and we may soon have antiviral pills. Is, is there anything in the mutations that you've seen here that suggests these treatments will hold up against COVID Omicron? Well, the mechanisms of action are very different for monoclonal antibodies, and we are concerned that the monoclonal antibodies may not be potent against Omicron. However, the Merck drug, mal malnupiravir, the Pfizer drug, Paxlovid, those work through very different mechanisms of action, and the mutations in the spike protein really should not have an impact on whether those drugs still work. We believe those drugs will still remain effective. So much love for the, for the South African scientists who were able to detect this thing. I mean, and their transparency since then. The experts agree it's likely Omicron is probably here in the United States, though it hasn't officially been detected. Is the U.S. behind other countries in our ability to identify and trace these variants? We are. And I really have to say, you know, I, I used to work in, in South Africa on HIV and, and tuberculosis and know many of these scientists who are now um, doing the work on COVID. These are top world class virologists uh, and they've really cut their teeth and honed their skills on the HIV pandemic before this. We are not doing nearly the scale of genomic sequencing that they are doing. We really should be sequencing about 20 percent of our cases here in the United States. And we still, while we've ramped up, we're still not doing nearly enough. The travel bans, medical or political? Honestly, you know, I think that's largely political. Travel bans can work, uh, but we really would have needed to implement them sooner. They didn't go into effect until today. And they need to be applied to everyone, a bit like what Australia and New Zealand did. As if Americans are exempt from our travel restrictions, you know, those, those flights from Atlanta to Joburg, I can tell you, are more mm. than half American. Yeah. Uh, and so that's a major loophole in the, in the travel restrictions. B before we go, Delta took over, you know, and just ran roughshod. And, and a lot of us still have a, a Delta wave to come that may, you know, really mess up the winter. That said, how worried are you based on what you know about COVID Omicron? I'm concerned. I'm not panicking. I think there's still a lot that we're waiting to find out. And I do think in about two weeks, we should at least have some answers as to whether Omicron is uh, immune evading and how well our vaccines will hold up against Omicron. Dr. Celine Gounder, thank you.